Welcome to the Rodney O'Hepsian Show. I am Rodney O'Hepsian. So, so what? So you're Rodney O'Hepsian. Big deal. Okay, well, just so you know, I'm Rodney O'Hepsian. Oh, before I really get started, let me just do some self-promotion and marketing. I got to do some of that too. I, I market, sure. This is an excellent show. Everyone loves it. Anything else? Subscribe, follow, whatever the hell. There's some internet thing you can do. There are internet things you can do. Certain internet actions. All of them. Do all of them. Go to my website and whatever. Do whatever you want. I don't even care. So what? You know, if I have to tell you to do all that shit, I don't even want you. I don't even want you. Just get, get lost. I should probably just proceed everything by saying don't subscribe. Don't follow. Then the people who are really serious about it, they still will do it. They're independent thinkers. They don't need me to tell them what to do. Those are the people I want on my team. So yeah, don't follow me. Don't subscribe to me. Don't go to my website. Don't go to my website. Alright, this has gone on long enough. I've wasted your time for a while. You know what? I'll just continue doing that. I don't. So what? How, what is your time worth? What is your time worth? $25 an hour? Does that mean I owe you money when you listen to my show? I think it's the other way around. I think you owe me money because my time is worth something. No? How does that work? That's a tough one. I'm pretty sure you owe me money even though your time is worth something because this is what you work for. You go to work 40 hours a week. Why? So you can afford to listen to my show even though it's free. So I guess you don't really need to work anymore. Just stop working. You already have what you want. You have my show. That's all you need. And some other... You need some food. You need some other stuff too. So don't stop working. But you can get it down to like 30 hours per week now. Because my show's free. If you listen to Howard Stern, that motherfucking piece of shit. He charges you money. So you have to work 40 hours. You have to work to listen to Howard Stern? Holy mackerel. Is that... Is that the world we live in? You have to actually work... You go to work or you run your bit. You do something to make money so so you can listen to Howard fucking Stern of all people. His bullshit. His filth. Anyways, this isn't about Howard Stern. Yeah, I can go on and on about that for hours, but maybe I should. Should I do it? Well, I'm not talking about Howard Stern specifically. I'm just talking about the fact that people pay to listen to him. This is something else. So I'm not just going on. I'm not just insulting Howard Stern. You know, why the fuck, what kind of a universe is this? Imagine, 100 years ago, 100, let's go 1,000 years ago, people out there working on farms, herding sheep, doing something with iron, they're fashioned, they're making horseshoes, did they have horseshoes 1,000 years ago? They used metal, okay, they've been using metal for thousands of years. It, just imagine telling one of those people, you know what? I want you to work an extra five hours a week. Why? So you can listen to some lowlife run his mouth on the radio for how often? He doesn't do it that much anymore because he's just, he doesn't work. He's a piece of liberal piece of garbage. He doesn't even work. Not that what he does is work. He, what he does is not work to begin with, but he doesn't even do it. It's kind of work. I guess it is work from a certain perspective, but he doesn't fucking do it. Back in the year 1000, imagine what would happen. If you told some hard-working goat herder, well, goat herding is probably not that tough, but maybe it was. Some hard-working farmer, he's out there digging, he's sweating, he's under the sun. You know what? We want you to work another five hours a week to listen to some fucking lowlife run his mouth about the most ridiculous shit imaginable. Corrupt the world. What the fuck do you think he'd do to you? What do you think he'd do to Howard Stern, huh? Howard, it's a good thing you weren't fucking born a thousand years ago. They would have crucified your ass. Do you realize that, Howard? Crucified, Howard. Yeah. And you know what? I think they crucified the wrong Jew, Howard. The world crucified the wrong Jew. You're not even a Jew. You're a fucking disgrace to our people. Am I Jewish? I'm Jewish. Yeah, I'm Jewish. Am I Jewish? I, yeah, I'm Jewish. I, I definitely support Israel. I'm Jewish. Yes, I'm Jewish. I am Jew. I'm a good Jew. And you're a disgrace to our people, Howard Stern. No wonder. No wonder. So many people have so much against us. They see Howard Stern. They find out about his Jewish ethnicity. The fact that he identifies himself. Don't identify yourself as a Jew, Howard. You're a fucking disgrace to everyone. 
I'll bet even porn directors don't want to hang out. Sure they do. Sure they do. For, like, I'll take that one back. They love they love hanging out with you. You can't even imagine how popular you are among the porn director demographic. Have you checked your numbers, Howard? I know you have because you check them nonstop. You always talk about them. Damn it. Why am I talking about Howard fucking Stern again? I was trying to talk. Well, I had a topic in mind. It was YouTube. Freaking Howard Stern. Damn. Howard. You're going to fucking pay for this shit. You owe me. You fucking owe me, Howard. Came here to discuss some really positive topics. And then talking about you. You know, I don't want to give you publicity. I don't want listeners of the Rodney Hepstein show to hear about fucking Howard Stern. I want to hear about heroes. Great people who are out there doing things. Making the world a better place. There are people in Africa. They're helping people there. They work at hospitals for free. Howard, you should go down there one day. Take a break from your horse shit show and go down there. What else are they doing? They go to homeless shelters. They help. They want to help people, Howard. One lady, she inherited $300,000. She gave to charity. Most of it. Almost all of it. Can you believe that, Howard? Like, you'd fucking do that? If you inherited $300,000, you'd ask for more. You'd disturb the dead person. You'd dig up his fucking corpse. You'd go to his gravesite. You'd dig it up. Pull it out. You'd probably take the, the freaking coffin. You'd sell it. Yeah, or you'd trade it for porn. You'd trade it for pornography. That's what you'd do, Howard. I don't want to say you'd have sex with a corpse. I kind of want to say that, but, you know, I'm a respectful man. I won't mention anything like that. But you would. You know you would. You son of a bitch, Howard. You're fucking disgusting. You want people to pay to listen to you? They should pay to listen to me. They should just pay me, even if I don't say anything. But if I say something, they should pay me more. Pay me for existing. Pay me for saying something. Instead, they pay you. They encourage you. They encourage you to be a lowlife. Okay, but I was talking about YouTube, apparently. I think I was going to talk about I don't think I mentioned it. But I wanted, I came in here intending to talk about YouTube. You know what? I'll just... I guess that's going to have to be a... I guess that's going to be a different episode. That's... This isn't about YouTube. It's, again, it's about Howard Stern. You're hijacking my fucking channel. You're a son of a bitch. I'm not happy about this, Howard. It hurts something. I'm just checking... Looking out my window. Is it, is it okay? Do I have to talk about you all day, Howard? You fucking narcissist. You egomaniac. It's all about you. I'm looking out my window. It has nothing to do with you. I'm looking out my window. I heard something. I'm looking out. You shut your fucking mouth, Howard. You're nothing. Alright. And YouTube. I'll discuss YouTube uh, at some point in the future. Probably right now. I'm going to stop this and then start a new recording. I just do them back to back, man. I'm crazy like that.